fine. I have to go to the brothel. So, my dear man, have you reached a verdict? I have distinguished the good perfumes from the bad, but even the good ones are nothing more than common sense for adolescents. <laughs> Who cares? It'll freshen up a few of my girls. Wait, there's a perfume here called Valerian. What is it? It's not really a perfume, technically speaking, unless you like cats. It's more of a kind of medicine. It smells strange. I don't really like it. Here, I can give it to you. And I have some information. Squibby is most assuredly locked up at the police station hereabouts. It would also seem that he's the one who doesn't want to come out. Do you know someone by the name of Danny? Danny? Big Danny Nutcracker? <laughs> the one who hates cats? That's the one. You're interested in that kind of bird? Oh, be like dipping your biscuit in a pig's trough. She's dangerous, a real cyclone. So beware. And her appearance. She claims to adore perfumes. <laughs> She'd need this whole box to smell sweet. I doubt it'll take much to make Danny cooperate, uh, perhaps by offering her a little gift. Can I get a refill? Let's go to the police station. <laughs> Do you remember me? Would you be kind enough to help me by telling me how many policemen are inside in exchange for this bottle of perfume? There ain't much in the station. It was pretty busy, but now there's only one constable, dearie. There we are. Now Danny has been sprayed with valerian, a scent that's irresistible to cats. I must create a diversion in the street to make the policemen come out, but I need some cats, lots of cats, to the pet shop. I must go to the pet shop. What can I do for you? So, how is Bert doing? Uh, he'll pull through. But he must eat, and I have no food for him here. We will need to find him some. And where can we get some cat food? We must find Hardiman. He sells meat for cats. It's around this time when he passes the end of the road. <laughs> you might be in luck. You'll hear him from far away. He was always calling beep, beep. Thank you for everything, Mr. Solomonovich. So, Pounce, shall we look for the cat food seller? Poor Bert has to be fed, and I might have some work for you and your friends. Beep, beep. Good evening, sir. How do a little kebab for the cat? These little brats can't possibly all be yours. Pardon? Oh, no, none of them. Ah, children. There are pride and joy, and yet... Do cats really like kebabs? They adore them. How many would you like? I'll take the lot. I beg your pardon, sir? How much for the lot? For two pounds, they're all yours, my lord. It's a deal. 
Listen up, my little soldiers. You need to find all the cats in Whitechapel and lead them towards the police station. You'll be armed with delicious kebabs to entice them. Go, as quick as you can now. If my calculations are correct, the cats will be seduced by Danny's odor and will throw themselves on her. That should cause enough of a commotion to get the policemen to come out onto the street. Come on now, children. Let the cats alone. What's all this racket? Calm down. Come on, go. And make those cats shut up. Well now, let's see what I can do about Squibby.